It's, it's been a busy week for the Jackson County Assessor. You can say that again. Monday, the state auditor said the assessor violated the law, impacting about 200,000 assessments. And just yesterday, the Missouri Attorney General filed a lawsuit against the county. They have no one in their office that understands appraising, nor anyone in their office that understands assessment. I think there are definitely some discrepancies. However, the assessor did get one win this week. The Missouri Supreme Court threw out a class action lawsuit against her and the county. All week we've shared the voices of taxpayers and elected leaders. Today we are hearing directly from the assessor. KSHB 41 News reporter Charlie Keegan brings us his sit down with Gail McCann Beatty. Beatty stood by the procedures that take place here inside the Jackson County Assessor's Office, saying everything that her office does follows Missouri state statutes. We have done many things to improve this process and we'll take what we've learned from this year as well and continue to approve on that process. All right, well, we have had a record number of appeals and audit and lawsuits of everybody saying the process isn't working. How are you so confident that it is working? Um, because I know that we have been doing everything to follow the state statute. Um, I, we've put the expertise in place to do so. The attorney general filed a lawsuit Tuesday, arguing Jackson County got the process so wrong, it's leading to unfair taxes for property owners. The AG asked the judge to get rid of any property value increases. We don't want anyone to overpay. That is not our objective. And I think the misconception is that the county is on a huge money grab. Despite all the legal headaches, Beatty called being assessor her dream job. Why haven't you just decided to walk away from all of this? Because despite all of this, I love this job. I love working with the people. I love appraising. I want to make sure that Jackson County's values are where they should be and that everybody is paying their fair share. So she's sticking with the process and working to complete the final appeals of 2023. Charlie Keegan, KSHB 41 News.